Hey, what's up guys? Andy here. Welcome to another fortified farm build. You loved the last one. Link to the last farm in the description. This is Minecraft 1.14, an updated fortified farm. What do you think the place it uses? The Andy is Yoda 5x5 Minecraft building guide. And there's plenty of place for crops, for animals, and for storage. Hey, if you like these kind of tutorials, don't forget, hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell. And... If you'd like to download this whole build, plus all my other 5x5 builds, you can on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Andy Isura in Java and in Bedrock. Now, this tutorial uses another video, my farm barn tutorial, as part of the whole build. All right, let's make a start. So we're going to start with some polished andesite. By the way, if you'd like a block list for this whole build, I'll put that onto my Patreon uh, tomorrow as well as the download. So come up five blocks with polished andesite site and make it a five by five shape like that. All the uprights in the five by five building system are three away from the next upright. Add some upper ochus wood slabus, and we're going to need about eight of these to start with and then we're starting in the bottom sort of the back left hand corner of the farm in case you're wondering I'm going to make a little space there where there's going to be a tower the principal tower in the build will be there a little bit later on and we're going to be making the back wall right here so i'm going to be using some dead brainy coral block and that little wall section there we need another four of them. So there's five of those wall sections in total. Then we're going to go back to this shape, which you're going to need to do again and again and again until you've made 16 plus two down and then another six there as well. In fact, eight. So it's 16, eight, two in the middle like that. That's quite a lot of hard work. Once you've done all that, we're going to add some more wall. Again, it's these little five by five sections here with dead brainy coral in between. One, two, three, four, five of them in total. Two more in this direction. So you will need to be, sorry, three in that direction. You will need to pause the video here and make sure you've counted this correctly. But everything is in these little five by five overlapping sections. Three more there and then another one there and another one there. I'm already with our walls. Spin the camera around to this side here. Extend that so it covers up this whole space here with the same deal. And in the last four sections, we're going to add some iron bars in there. Around the back here, we're going to do exactly the same thing. With iron bars. A little gap there where we're going to add a tower in later. Um, keep on going all the way around, adding iron bars in this section here. There's four iron bars and we'll add iron bars all the way along the back here, just filling in those gaps with the polished and the azure site and the dead brainy coral block as well. Got a couple to do there also. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now we're really going to start on the tower. So the tower is actually 19 blocks high in total, so count up to 19 high in all four corners of the tower. Join them up at the top. And bringing the camera down here, we're gonna make these little sections here where we've got, yeah, we're gonna jump right into Yoda's head here. It's just much easier to see. One, two, one, two, one, two. You can see this pattern that I've got Two blocks high, polished andesite and dead brainy coral block. Now what I'm going to do is stack that up. So I'm going to use a command to stack this up. But all you want to be doing is repeating that block after block after block. And if you keep that pattern repeating all the way up the tower, you end up with something which looks just like that. Then we're going to have some spruce logs sticking out in these directions with some upside down stone brick stairs in between slabs in the corner upper stone brick slabs and then chiseled stone bricks in these positions and then in between those i'm going to go for some upper stone brick slabs and then smooth stone on top in these positions making you some nice crenellations 
and then you've got room for a little flag of your choice on top. I've just gone for a simple yellow flag design looking like that. So that's your tower done, super simple. Adding some buttons for a last minute detail. And then we're gonna grab iron bars again here and what you need to do next is count down three blocks of coral from the top and add an iron bar. Three blocks of coral, another iron bar, there and on that level and then in the exact same positions on the back as well one two and we can even go for one more on the back and one more on the side like that iron bars in place and what i'm going to do is use commands here to move the side of this off and you can actually see the floors are going to go in with some upper slabs as if you could stand on the slab and the window would be right in front of your face if you're a Minecraft character. Hopefully that's pretty easy to see right there. Oh, bring a ladder all the way up through your tower, all the way up to the very, very top. It brings some nice light down into the build as well. Okay, the rest of the tower is slapped back on. Now we're going to use the Minecraft 5x5 building guide to build in again these little 5x5 five five shapes but just four blocks high this time so the base was five blocks high these levels are going to be four blocks high and we're going to need a few of these as well coat the top of it in upper ochus woodus slabus and then we're going to bring more of these sections out In that sort of position and they've left the bottom left one out to create a bit of interest in the build we're going to put on another floor as well and i've put them in these exact positions here again the front of the build is it's a bit more interesting than the back of the build we've got different levels different gaps you also want to do some uh, building over in this corner this is super simple a very easy house over there. So next I've used some bone block here and this bone block is going to go all the way around the little 3x3 three three spaces at the base. I'm using command there just to stack these up. These go all the way around. Bone block, bone block, bone block all over the place. Carve yourself some windows. You can use glass panes or if you want you could use uh, wooden fences. Up to you. Make sure that's done all the way around with your windows. And the next floor I'm going to use beautiful stripped birch. Add in some windows and now we're going to go for the roof. So we're going to jump into Yoda's head here because this is much, much easier to see what's happening when we're inside Yoda's head. It's sometimes a weird place to be, I tell you. So, copy that. <laughs> Hard to commentate on that. So I'm using a spruce border to the roof and then the roof itself is just going to be simple oak stairs key block coming up there once you get that one in place the rest of the roof kind of just builds itself so this is going to come right up to the middle upside down and then face that one that way and then we can start on this bit of the roof i'm just kind of checking with my design over there yep that looks good <laughs> some bottom slabs of spruce right there these can come across and then you've got to put another 
gable end or triangular end here. I recommend doing it in this kind of order. Bring these right up to your slab. Upside down and then bring this one down. And it's going to overlap onto our tower as well. Here we're going to add some nice, again, stripped birch. Beautiful light colored block there. Now the rest of this is just very, very simple Minecraft roof. So we can actually speed this up quite a bit. Just add on your simple oak wood stairs. Now you can see the, the very end of the roof there at the top there. I haven't quite finished that off. I'll go and finish that off in a couple of seconds. I just got a bit distracted. I realized that this wall hadn't been done down here. So fill that wall in exactly how you've been doing before. This is when I spotted the roof. So bring up the upright in the middle with oak wood. And we're gonna get a little bit too close here with the camera. I do apologize. <laughs> Total close up. Yeah, that's well too close. Let's back up, back up. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Bit of dodgy camera work there. That's that roof done though. On the other one, I'm gonna go for a simple uh, brick roof, but not before I put my uh, bone block on with my windows in. Yeah, brick roof for this one, I love the brick. Don't put the brick everywhere. It's kind of an expensive block to make. You've got to find clay and all that sort of thing if you're doing this in survival. But a very, very simple Minecraft roof. Not going to go into too much commentary or detail on this. On the inside, I've gone for some more stripped birch as well at uh, both sides. And there we go, fantastic progress. That is the basic structure of the entire farm. We've got the walls. We're gonna put a nice skin on the walls, but we've got the main houses done as well. The barn, remember, is a separate tutorial. You have to put the barn in from a separate video. Under here, you've got a really nice basement or storage area. And again, remember to put in your walls, just like we've been doing. And I'm, I like making these huge doors out of barrels. I think the barrels look like a really nice fortified door. And if you use some upside down polished andesite stairs, it just looks fantastic. Time to move on to the farm. So you should be able to bring some polished andesite blocks all the way along here. Two rows of them, like that. And then we can go for one, two, three, four, five, six, yes, yeah, seven bits of farmland. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven by three, really, it is. And here I'm going to place some path blocks. And you can see you just build up the farm like this. The first one is three by seven. The next one's four by seven farmland. And then keep bringing your stairs and your paths up. The next one's again, four by seven farmland. And another 28 blocks, four by seven there. Again, paths and stairs. Do that one more time. In fact, do that two more times. Make sure you've got plenty of water for your crops. And there we go. That's your farm ready. I'm going to just copy and paste it in my uh, crops. Now here we're going to need to do the wall. And for this wall, you're going to need smooth stone slab, stone brick stairs, cobblestone slabs, blocks and stairs, some observer blocks, I think they are, and chiseled stone bricks. Okay, let's just start anywhere. So divide it off into this little five by five section here, and then bring up four bits of cobblestone cobblestone stairs at the top and then at the base you've got cobblestone stairs just there with a cobblestone slab in between and let's merge into Yoda's head again sometimes it's much easier to see that okay here we've got upside down 
facing out the way bits of cobblestone stair. Chiseled stone brick in between. And these sections can be repeated again and again and again all the way around your, your build. So are they, are they dispensers? I think they're dispensers, right? Dispenser blocks right there. I can't even remember what I used. And then bring up four bits of cobblestone. I'm just repeating exactly the same design, showing you it one more time. So you've got our upside down cobblestone stairs with the chiseled in between. Dispensers either side and a slab at the base. So that needs to be done again and again and again all the way around your entire build. Now what I'm going to do is show you um, one of the outside corners so that you can do the corners as well. So that would um, that is what the wall skin looks like. I think it looks really, really cool. We're also going to add some upper cobblestone slabs right there. And then the smooth stone, put them there in the middle and on the uprights. Upside down stone brick stairs in between. And then on those stone brick stairs, we're going to add some more smooth stone. And then every bit of smooth stone gets a bit of smooth stone slab as well. And there we go. That is our wall skin helping to defend our fortified farm. So we're going to need to do a few of these. So I'm going to show you a few more. Hopefully you should have the hang of it by now, I would have thought. And again, keep on doing the same thing. So here we're now reached the actual corner. So you can see how a corner would work. So on this face, you do exactly the same design again. Getting clever with the stairs. I'm starting to get faster at this. Hopefully you are too. You've got to go around the entire build. This is probably going to be the slowest part of your whole build. Run this cobblestone slab round like that. And that does your corner. Fill in that gap there. You've got a beautiful corner. And then all you've got to do is sling this stuff like that. And then put the upside down stone brick stairs there, there, there. That one's temporary. Take it away. And then you get busy with your smooth stone as well. And that's how you would do the corner. Really, really simple indeed. And there we go, outside corner complete. Now, obviously, you're going to need to sling that around the entire build. I'll just run the camera around slowly here. You get an idea of exactly how it looks. Okay, so once you've done that around the entire build, there is one inside corner, which I'll show you in a bit more detail later on how to solve very 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 easy indeed now we're going to go for some beautiful upper balcony here stick out these oak logs by two add in some upper oak slabs in between put these three blocks on and then run some nice spruce fence around there you could use some trap doors as well if you like Bring these up here by two blocks and then grab some Trapidorus Maximus 
feels like ages since I said that. What I mean is wooden trapdoors. I translate my Andy Jura speak for all my new subscribers. Thank you so much, everyone, for subscribing recently. It's an absolute thrill to get to 250,000 subscribers, a quarter million. Hopefully, I'm going to be doing a special video about that very soon indeed. So these little uh, trapdoors let you put some carpets on top and you're making a little shaded balcony area. Your choice of carpet on top, stripes or squares, look mighty fine. Oh, I'm adding some buttons on to the end of the oak logs just for a little bit of extra polish. And I haven't put any doors in anywhere, so let's start adding in some doors. Just before I do add a door, some little gorgeous uh, trap doors. What are these? Are these jungle trap doors? I feel like these are jungle trap doors. And we can stick in a... Do I put in a door? Oh, well. Going for a balcony. <laughs> Obviously putting the doors in a little bit later on. Um, so they bring this balcony round here, like that. Again, bringing the oak logs out by two and just joining things up with the beautiful oak wood slabs. Here I'm putting on some uh, jungle trap doors all the way around. And I think these look really, really cool. You just have to take care on some of the corners, inside or outside corners. Yeah, there's the door. Did you see the door? <laughs> Blink or you miss it. Right, let's build the side of this basement and storage area. Here again, we've got some polished andesite with some dead brainy coral in between. And I've put a nice wooden floor down there as well in that basement. I added, added a door right there. Now we're ready for the chicken farm area. So that first oak log section was brought out three the rest of them were brought out two hope you noticed that subtle difference upper ochus woodus slabus all the way around and then we're going to make a nice uh plinth for a water butt everybody needs a big water butt so it's built like this with the support of some spruce fences. You could also make the water butt into not a water butt. You could make it into maybe a grain silo as well if you want that for your farm. Anyway, I've decided to make this big water butt here with some spruce trapdoors, which I love to build with. Aren't these epic? Put those all the way around and then get busy filling it up with water. I'm sure you're clever enough to figure out how to do that. Now, underneath this is where I'm going to put the chicken coop. A couple of blocks there. And some fences. Now, this is the base of the raised chicken coop. I guess chicken coops were traditionally raised to make them a bit more difficult for predators to get into them, I suppose. So I've gone for a row of normal trapdoors and then spruce trapdoors, kind of all the way along here. All the way to the end of the water butt plinth. Isn't plinth a good word? Plinth. <laughs> plinth. Sorry. Concentrate, Andy. Concentrate. Okay, a few more trapdoors here. And then I've used some ordinary trapdoors here, oak trapdoors, to seal the chickens in, kind of. A uh, beautiful jungle door. I think it's a jungle door. Good excuse to use it. Don't use it very often indeed. And then a couple of rows of more oak trap doors. And the chickens are kind of sealed in there. They can't really fly out. Over here, I'm going to put a double row of trap doors. As I was testing this out, it was like some of the chickens could like merge through the trap doors. I'll put a double layer there, see if I can keep the chickens in. Anyway, those chickens are down to you. little walkway for the chickens to get up and down. Now, in the side of this basement area here, um, I think we're going to have some stairs. So bring out three by three section of oak wood slabs and then start your stairs out of stone bricks. Uh, 
and we'll have some simple cobblestone underneath. One too many rows right there. Now in this bit, I decided to put in another barrel door. I think the barrel door is just absolutely gorgeous. So grab your barrels and get busy. Obviously make some pretty cool storage as well. And then some polished upside down and the side stairs. And the good thing about putting that little entrance there is you can bring this path out as well and bring it towards the chickens and then wrap that round and you've got some natural little spaces there for sheep and pigs and horses and whatnot. Adding on a little rail all the way around, you could use some jungle trapdoors for that bit as well. And you'll see later on in the other prototype of this farm I've made, I've used some jungle trapdoors around that area. But spruce fences look pretty, pretty good as well, to be honest. Okay, last detail while we're over here, I'm going to bring some wall blocks placed on the oak and then in between gone for some dark oak fence gates and they go up and down like that because they join onto the wall i think that looks wonderful more uh, jungle trap doors all the way around on the windows and a door <laughs> The door is just like always almost an afterthought. Some more storage under there. And then in between these barrels, I like to put doors as well. So you can always get in, actually. Now, this is the inside corner I was talking about. Simply fill it up with cobblestone and then add in those four lumps of cobblestone stairs. And the inside corners can just almost build themselves. Really super simple. Hopefully that wasn't too difficult. Now, the main doors, they're just simply... One, two, three, four, five high bits of oak log. One, two, three, four, five. So three of them. Oh, sorry, two doors made by three by five oak logs. Add some detail to your doors. So I've got two bits of fence with some gates in between. Some birch button handles. And then big shout out to Cake and Egg Studios who came up with this archway, which I'm about to do here. So for this archway, I've grabbed some spruce. So we're going to go block of spruce or planks, stair, stair, slab, 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 slab. Now you get another chance to look at this. So we've got full planks, stair, stair, and then it's... Lower slab first, then upper, lower, upper, and then another lower slab, boom, on top. And that makes a really nice, cool archway. And you could put banners on that, you could put signs on that as well to make that look even more epic. Big space where the barn has to go. Remember, the barn is a separate tutorial. We're going to add in a little walkway here. Initially, I brought it out by two blocks, but then I realized, oh, we need a staircase, and I love my staircases to be three stairs wide. So we're bringing this out by another block, and that means we can put in a staircase. First of all, got some buttons for some trim and some jungle trap doors to act as little barriers. Here comes my staircase all the way down. Now, same on the other side. So I'm actually going to bring that out a little touch to make it a three-wide staircase. That is up to you. You can maybe make it a two-wide staircase if you wanted. Going to add in a few more paths here and there. Up to you where you put them, I suppose. And then another design from Cake and Egg Studios. A gorgeous three-by-three three well. So, so cute. So simple. I think cake goes by the IGN of JJT cake, I think, when they build. But there we go. Some simple spruce stairs and slabs to act as a roof. And you could even put maybe a composter beside that to act like a bucket ready to go down your well. So before you go, let me show you some of the other little teeny tiny details I put onto this place. I've added in some extra trim here with some dark oak fence gates. 
and some upside down oak stairs. I've added in obviously some barrels, some potted saplings look pretty cool as well. Um, the bamboo, I've limited the height of the bamboo with some string as well. And this gives you a nice range of different sizes kind of permanently. Uh, the barn itself, remember this is a completely separate tutorial. I have used some slightly different blocks here, some stripped spruce log. Actually, shout out to Tronity who rebuilt this from my tutorial here. But we've got a beautiful barn here. Again, separate video if you want to do the barn, but there's plenty of room inside for some really cool little rooms. You can divide it off in this way or exactly how the tutorial did it as well. It is entirely up to you. Add plenty of lanterns absolutely everywhere around this build. Um, where can we put some more lanterns? There we go. Beautiful. Um, when you get your pigs, chickens and yeah, all my animals slightly got mixed up. But the chicken coop kind of works unless the pigs get into it. Yeah. Okay, uh, what else did we add in terms of details? Obviously, you've got all your storage down here, melons, hay, pumpkins, and so on. Plenty of room and storage in this area, and the same over here as well. Loads and loads and loads of storage absolutely everywhere. And then through here into the tower area, once you get into this build here, as you can see, there's loads of space, and you can get right into the tower and you could climb up the tower and this could get you to different levels of the build and you can come out here onto this balcony and so on so it's a really really cool build i think there we go um added in water in the water bar oh and this little place over here has plenty of space and even room up here where you could probably get some more storage in that attic as well what do you think of the fortified farm do hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already leave some nice feedback in the comments if you wish and remember if you'd like to download this build on patreon you can in java and in bedrock edition i'll do that within the next couple of days and i'll also provide uh, a block list as well tell you what i'll provide that block list completely free on my patreon how does that grab you take care for now ciao ciao in the blocks be with you